Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Safe Cracker with me, Brazen Braden, the Safe Cracker Extraordinaire, here to solve the mysteries of the safes and find the will of uh, Mr. Man that we are busy searching for. Um, uh, it's been a while since uh, I last played this, uh, to, be, to, be, to be honest. And I know there's still a little bit left to do. We've got this puzzle here which is missing some sort of piston thing. Uh, which we still need to find. Uh, there's also, if we look at our map, a couple things we're missing here. We are in this room. We're missing, there's the winter garden that has that sort of water fountain thing with that key, which just does not seem to be working for whatever reason. There's the small sitting room, something in there, the museum. Uh, there's in the workshop, there are apparently two things, although this one's not light. Okay, there it is. And, uh, the second floor has got the main safe, which we think is, I think, is the last final safe we, we get into, as well as something in the dressing room and in the blue bedroom. There's still these two doors here, which are locked, and we have not yet been able to get through to them. Uh, and then that's the basement. So, without further ado, let's jump in and see what we can do now. I am going to have to apologize uh, for what I'm about to tell you. But uh, I, <laughs> I, one of these puzzles has irritated the life out of me. It has driven me absolutely up the wall, and I was forced to actually go online and find out the solution. And that is this one in the workshop right here. This stupid safe with these colors, with these numbers, and this one that shoots a beam of various n colors. You see, like this, there's a red beam. There's no way I can tell what what was that letter? It was uh was this one. Whoops. I, I I'm I'm keep misclicking. This one here with the wavelength required to unlock the safe is eight nanometers under the upper limit of a of blue buttercups. Of buttercups color, sorry, buttercups. What the hell does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. So so I I, I, I apologize. I, I gave up on this. I went and I looked up at the answer. <laughs> so I have the answer here. For some reason, the, the, the buttercup color, you see there's a nice blue, and we knock this up to a 9, it's supposed to go yellow. Then we've got this one, which is incorrect. Here we go. 8, 4. This is it. Bing! How the hell was anyone supposed to know that? Please do tell me in the comments if I was just being a complete noob and I didn't understand the buttercups color thing because no, not a chance. <sighs> it will be said though, those are the only two, that's the only thing I looked up because it was driving me absolutely up the freaking wall. We have picked up some things. We've got this T shaped key and we've got a small gold key, which is great. Hopefully they unlock some of these uh, these rooms. Where is this? The, this is the ground floor. Second floor. Hopefully one of them unlocks one of these. We'll see. But there's a T-shaped and a small gold key. So now let's hopefully progress using our brains and our wit and our cunning and uh, figure out what we have to do here. Oh, we still have to finish this, don't we? Oh, where's my piece of paper? that I had written numbers on because there was that number what was it something six something something we got on a printout on um we got a printout from the game machine I believe it was the one that you like played Need for Speed uh, very old Need for Speed let it be said and there was a printout on there let me just I'm rifling through my papers here and uh, no I found nothing um Oh, what was that? Okay, we'll come back to that. I'll, I'll find it at, uh, somewhere, and uh, we'll see. Uh, we still have to figure that. That might actually turn on the water for the for that outside machine. Now, this hasn't been done yet. Ah, aha! Hello, look at you, Mr. T. Yes. Good. We've opened something else. What's what's in here? Ooh, a piston. Fantastic, which means we can now head down into the basement and uh, do the piston machine. Things are finally coming together. That's going to go upstairs. We do not want to go upstairs right now. We want to go down basement. There we are. Okay. 
Piston room. Good. Uh, here we need the piston. Voila. Okay. Good. It's in. Now we've got this machine, which has a bunch of numbers. Okay, and it's you click once and it sort of fills up. This will then send it back. And then that's not full. Um Well we filled up two of them. <laughs> okay, so let's see, what have we got here? We got one, two, three, we got five, and then we got five, six, seven, eight. Three, five and eight are the, the two numbers. Well, the, the 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 sort of sequence we've got going here, and we can sort of shift around everything that's within one cylinder using these arrows. So if we click here, everything from this goes into here. If we click this one, everything from here goes into here. So we should not be able to. Yeah, we can't because this is now full. Uh, this one will only take three of those across. So we can technically fill this one up to the top and that is one two three four five six seven eight and that's those two essentially combined now how do you think we're supposed to fill this up we have eight we've got three things we cannot split this um, correctly like you know if it was nine it'd be like three 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 or something that's not working so if we pop across a couple there's five and if we go back is it going to pop five back it will pop five back okay so we'll pop a little bit in there a little bit of juice in that piston and a little bit of juice in this piston um, and that's empty that one yet again and if we click this all five will then go across this will pop three in there I don't know what sort of sequence I'm supposed to be going for we got sort of three two three here is a three nothing five uh, we can go backwards oh, and we can go underneath as well so we got a three three two um, do we have any clues uh, oops this is the paper that we got printed out it was six oh, there's the number four six eight two one so we can try that on that other uh, keypad um, up in the where there's those, those three key pairs with the different things. We can try that there. Alright, we've got nothing else here telling us anything of interest. Um, so what do they want from our life? This has a little arrow. What is with this little arrow? And we can't click on this, so not a button. So I assume as soon as we get the correct measurements, everything will just be peachy. But we seem to end up with. Okay, there's nothing there now. Um, if we push them all across, and a three, is this automatically going to ping when it's happy with us? This is, seems to be a common number we s we get three three two, um, which means nothing to us. And then we've got the blank in the middle, and then we can empty this one out completely. Oops, as well. Hmm. Conundrum. Conundrum. What shall we do? See, here we end up with this. Okay, now we've got three, two, three. Are we supposed to have like two? I mean, okay, we've got. If we have two of those, uh, is this supposed to be in a sort of some sort of step, like two here, three here, four there, or something? Because I don't see how that would be possible. I mean, we can okay if, if we had this and then we pop this across into there, be two, we can pop three across into there. Now we got the three, two, three again, and this will now fill up that. Why is this arrow pointing here? Hmm. It's a pickle. So this... This arrow... It's pointing at this block number four. Perhaps...
perhaps we have to get this level filled up to block number four. Now, if we if we attempt to do anything here, we're going to pop three across, which is not going to help us. See, we can fill this thing up all the way up to the very top. We'll push those across. We can't push anything through, but we can empty this tank out into there. And then we can push three across into here. We have two in here, what, but we'll, that will fill that tank up, which is no good. Um... Okay, let's let let let's see. Okay, here we've got a full tank. <sighs> let's see. If we pop that all the way down, that's gonna make five. Um sorry, three. This is gonna make five. Push this across, it's gonna push three in there. That's going to leave us with two, five. How are we going to make that cent central bit? How are we going to get just one in there? I don't even know if this is possible. Is this is this possible? Is this even what we're supposed to be doing? It's a conundrum. I don't see any way of getting <coughs> an odd number of things. Although here we've got one. So if we one two into here, it's going to leave us with three, which is not no good. We can fill this up, and that will empty this out again. We've got this one sitting here. We we can see if we push that across. This now means we can empty this out, but that doesn't that doesn't achieve anything. This gives us a five, pushing things across into there. We've got two mana. Two is too much to push across. Whew. I think I think we have to get the blue up to this level. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm not seeing how we're supposed to do that. Some sort of black magic, maybe? See, now we need to get two in here. And uh, if, if, if someone knows how to, okay, there's the two. Put the five in, all the way up. Oh, wait, 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 one block, if we... Oh, 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 fantastic. Oh, look, the water, the water's flowing. Oh, sweetness, now we can go outside and we, oh, look, it's it's pumping away like like crazy. And that machine is just, look at it vibrating. Okay, great, good. We've got water pumping upstairs. We can maybe finally do something with that winter garden, as it was uh, so aptly called. How do we, how do we get out of here? Let me out. Let me out. Here we go. Okay. So, what happened? Did I just step on something? If I move, oh, okay. Okay. So when I mo when I step on these panels, it moves the water flow. The water is flow is being like pumped out into here. You can see the key is on water, and if I step on here, it's going to shift this there. Ooh, it's pushing it higher. And this one? It's doing nothing. This one is also doing nothing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got three. I think these these three are, are, are pulling it out. So if we step on here, can we move this? That's doing nothing. I think we have to get it into this hole. Because this one in, in the third hole is pushing water out. This one in the middle hole is pushing water out. So if we now step over here, though, we're now going to screw this whole process up. And if we step over here now, that's going to move into the last hole. There goes the water. Oh! <laughs> well... <laughs>
Oh my word! I don't even know. I don't even want to know how I, how that worked out. Uh, but we have the double key. We have the double key. Fantastic. All right. Wow. Um, double key. Where can we use double key? Let's look at our, our map. Now we've got the museum. There is something in the museum. Oh yes, it's that keypad. Shall we go have a have a look see if we can get there? There was this keypad here, and we have that code. Oh my word. Eight a uh, six eight two one six eight two one six eight two one six eight two one. Whoa, that did something. What is this? One two three four five six seven eight nine fifteen. 12, 15, 18, 15, 24, 15, 6, 15. I can't click on anything. I, oh! Okay, I have to click on the arrows. And that is changing the values of these. I think 15 is the number I have to get. 264, 624. Okay, so we r can rotate that the numbers around. Dead. Oh. <sighs> there certainly are some twisted minds out there. There certainly are, dear chap. There certainly are. Okay. I think we have to make all of these equal 15 in some magical way. So, we've got 16. We, we cannot. We have to get this down. We can get that up. F 4, 16. We need to. 12, 9... 15. There you see, we got 115 here, so this has gone lighter than the rest, which means we now have to somehow malfigure the rest of these numbers. We got a 15 down there, and somehow we have to get 15 everywhere. Hmm. Um. This is a real mathematical <laughs> problem right here. What's the best way to go about this? Um. Do we just guess? I mean, we've got 115 here. we got a 15 on top here. <sighs> These are all now random, randomish looking numbers. 13, 13, 15. These are all sort of closer within our range. This is 19, which is 6, that's 15, so that's 19. So if we wanted to get this down to 15, we'd want this to be 13. For, we need 2 down here. We need over 2. So let's get the 2 down there. That turned that into 15. Now, um, in order to get... So we got two 15s across here. Uh, if we wanted... 15 Okay, that's 15 there We got three 15s It's not too bad um, One 15 Oh my word This, this could This could be a serious Pain in the bum. Look how close these numbers are. Okay, this one's a little bit off, but we've got 15, 16, 14, 17, 17. Okay, 11 is the down there, 19, 20, a bit high. But, uh, but we must be pretty close to the numbers. Oh, my word. That's a 15 across. Hmm. Hmm. It's a pickle. Okay. Well, I know I, I sort of get the concept of what we have to do here. That's fine. Um, I think I may plot around with this for a little while, just off camera. I don't. Want, you guys will be so bored watching me just clicking these arrows backwards and forwards, left and right, continually. So I will. I will just continue clicking around until I think I've got it and uh, I will get back to you with uh, more once I've solved it so just give me about 24 hours <laughs> to figure this out and I'll be back with you then
Oh my gosh, finally. Holy crap. Wow, look at that. This is absolutely ingenious. Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. Holy crap, that was tough. Anyways, folks, I'm buggered. I am going to call it tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this. Being Brazen Braden, safe cracker extraordinaire, cracking safes like you have no idea. And I will catch you for the next episode where maybe we might even complete this. Who knows? Until then, love you lots. Have a great one. Enjoy your Decembers and all that. And uh, see you soon. Bye.